my, my talk is about making Node.js deployments enjoyable. So suppose you have written a web app in Node.js. How do you deploy it in production? Well, let's ask Google. You have lots of advice that um, all pretty much tell you about the same thing. And uh, step one, you have to make sure that your app keeps running and restart on crash. So you need to start it in forever. Okay, so far so good. Step two, you need to start your app on system boot and you can use um, tools like your sysv in it or upstart or systemd and write the script for that. Okay, not that hard. How hard can it be to really put it in production and make it good? So now, and, and then you actually get to write your init script. Mm, it's a bit long. And you also want to reverse proxy your app from behind Nginx uh, because um, you don't really want to put node on the internet directly. You want to um, serve files faster, so that's better done by Nginx. And Nginx also improves security, sanitizes your HTTP headers, and it makes SSL configuration easier. So you want to use Nginx. And here you have your virtual host uh, configuration block for your app. And then you have to add more stuff to it. You have to make sure that uh, static file surfing works correctly. You have to reverse proxy it to your application and add all these ports. Wait a minute. Um, is it still easy? Okay, and you also want multi-core stuff. How do you do that? Node.js is um, single-threaded and it's evented. So you gotta use the cluster module for multi-core support and you gotta write all this. Uh, okay. How can we see application statistics? You, for example, you want to see um, what request is your application currently serving? Well, um, maybe you can sign up for some monitoring services. Okay, so here's a rundown of all the stuff that you have to do, but that can't be what Node.js and JavaScript is about. This is JavaScript, not Java. You don't want all the boilerplate. And, and I don't, probably don't need to tell you that you want to focus on the front end on serving your customers instead of managing your servers and doing all this Kung Fu. So, well, what would an ideal solution look like? Let's go back to the basics, to your Nginx configuration file, because you have to use Nginx anyway for a good deployment. Well, let's just say that you say, deploy my damn app. And if you want to see your application statistics, you just, um, open your command line, oh, by the way, if you do deploy my damn app, then it should do all this stuff for you. And if you want to see statistics, then you just type show my app status. I actually made, a, made some typos in this slide. If you um, change deploy my damn app to passenger enabled on, and if you change that other, that command to passenger status, well, that's actually what passenger is. It makes your deployment a lot easier, simpler. You don't have to manage all that um, stupid stuff that you, you don't really have a reason to do. Let's you focus on what's really important. And I should add that um, Passenger is, um, it, um, it's quite new when it comes to JavaScript support. It's open source, so you can fork it on GitHub, but we would really like to have um, feedback from, from the JavaScript community about what works, what doesn't work, what's good about it, and what's not, and it's under really active development. So please play with it and tell us more. Thank you.